Welcome, everyone. Uh, we have Kamal from AMZ One Step here today. Going to be talking about uh, strategies for listing images. Uh, so as we wait for a couple more people to trickle in, feel free to say hi in the chat. Say where you're from. Um, I'm here in Culver City in Los Angeles. Kamal, where are you dialing from? Uh, hey, Justin. So super excited to be here. I'm in, Ed I'm in Edmonton, Canada. It's kind of a Texas of US. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good analogy. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We so, got yeah. We have people from Ireland. Ireland, yes. nice. New York, Florida. A lot of e-commerce sellers in Florida. Yeah, and a lot in Salt Lake City. I think we were where we met last month. There was like lots of Amazon yes. sellers from Salt Lake. Yeah, I think we were both surprised by how many uh, brands were headquartered there and uh, just a lot of a lot of activity there so very cool Vancouver Slovenia Let's see hey Gord I think we have worked before in the past awesome cool yeah great great to see you all um if you have questions about any of the content feel free to pop it in or just you know any questions in general and We'll, we'll take some of the questions as we go, but if we don't get to it, we can also um, answer the questions at the end. Um, the recording, this is being recorded. It will be sent out automatically um, to you after the webinar. So as a registered attendee, you can catch up on it if you can't stay for the whole time. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll let Kamal take it from here. Um, yeah, get going. Yeah. And Tanya says, we can't see your faces. But yeah, so um, let's get started. So in this presentation, I'm going to share some simple strategies, but they're really, really effective to increase your click through rate. OK, so uh, when it comes to the Amazon main images, Amazon is really strict. You can't have product you know, badges. You can't have icons. You can't have graphics or text in the main image. But how do you make your main image stand out? That's a bigger question. Like everyone has to have their product only like product has to cover like 85% of the image, but how do you make it stand out, right? Like everyone talks about, okay, your main image should be scroll stopping image. It should stand out. But the bigger question is how, when everyone, every image has to be on product, you know, on white background. So I have come up with 13 different strategies that you can use to make your main, make, make your main image stand out. And a lot of Amazon sellers and, even Amazon agencies, they struggle with getting your CTR up or increasing your click through rate. So these are the strategies that we're going to talk about. And my goal from this presentation is to find your 20%. Okay, so you have heard of Pareto principle before. It's the 20% of the effort which brings you the 80% of the result. And in Amazon's creatives, your main image is that 20% that is going to bring you the 80% of the result. And even if you dig deeper, that 20% of the effort also has 80-20 rule in it. So that 4% in reality brings you 96% of the results. So that's how much importance I give to the main image. Okay, so if, if you're designing like seven images, videos, A plus content, so main image is absolutely the crucial one. So think of that as your 80-20 rule, okay? So what should be your listing goal? So your number one listing goal is the visibility that can be uh, from your you know keyword research or where you're ranking on those different keywords. And the second part of your listing is how to click, you know, how to win that click from all those impressions to convert them into those sessions. So that is the CTR. And then your end goal is to convert, you know, people add to cart and eventually they come back and buy more product. So that is your listing goal. And it is a proven fact that the listings with more traffic makes more sales. It's, you know, it, it's a fact. And the main image is the most important factor which is responsible for the traffic. So there's like six different factors which are responsible for uh, your click through rate. When people search for a keyword on Amazon, uh, they you know, they look for the main image, number one factor. Number two, how good is your product title? Number three, what's the price, right? Number four, uh, what kind of reviews do you have? Number five, if you're doing FBA or FBM. And lastly, like if you have any Amazon badges, like, you know, a bestseller or Amazon's choice badge. So based on these six factors, 
uh, your people will you know will click on your listing but the only two things that you control as a seller is the main image and the product title you know the price you know it's controlled by the market reviews given by the consumers right F badges given by the amazon so these are the only two things that you can control okay so so main image is really important so let's talk about the basics of the main image first it has to be pure white background it should cover 85 percent of the product has to be high quality unique angle you know it should be amazon's terms of service compliant but you know this is not what we're going to talk about this is pretty basic we're going to talk about some advanced level strategies okay so before we do that let's understand uh the risk versus reward the image that you see on the left is perfectly safe image showing front and back of the image it's you know it's perfectly amazon compliant but it gives you very little competitive edge but if you look at the image on the far right you're going to see an ebook graphic you're going to see two pack it's really risky but it can make your main image stand out which is something we don't recommend what we recommend is you to have an image which is in the middle okay so try to you know uh use something which can make your main image stand out but is still you know uh within amazon's terms of service right so in this you know we're showing product in use we're showing cat you know in the product bag and which is making it look different you know uh, than the regular images so it gives you a competitive edge so i would highly recommend having a safe image you know sometimes you know amazon can uh, get your listing uh suppressed so always have the main image you know in case you if your listing is down you can always put it back but i have never seen the image uh, you know listing going down if you use the strategy which is in the middle okay and the first strategy one of the most you know uh, famous ones is the label it strategy if you look at the image on the left this is the product packaging and uh, on the keyword unflavored protein powder the click share was 9.34 percent and this data came from the brand uh, analytics and what we did you know what's the main unique selling point so what you can do in this strategy highlight the unique selling point or the main keyword in the product packaging itself and make it look like it's part of the packaging okay try not to put it on the white background then amazon's you know system is going to cache that and would not allow that so 25 grams of protein and unflavored uh, you know a tag we have put in on the packaging and it's making them stand out when people are looking for you know protein powder they, they can instantly be like okay wow 25 grams of protein that's exactly what i'm looking for okay so this is what you can do and let's say uh you know you're in the process of designing a product packaging or you're going to design it really soon try to have the click through rate in your mind when designing the product packaging so this is a perfect example of what your product packaging should look like okay so uh, for your future product uh, products or if you're already designing this is what you know you should be doing come and, on um, there's uh, actually a question that's kind of related to this um so the question is about packaging design and so uh, <clears throat> the question is, should I include the pro product packaging in the image for cosmetic products torn between spending 200% more for premium packaging relative to a relatively clean, but basic packaging that's less costly? Is there a good benchmark for how much to spend on product packaging relative to product cost, especially considering packaging is kind of what's drawing the attention? So I think product packaging is is really really important. It's not you know number one you know it can make your make your main image stand out you know mm -hmm. because if you have an attractive packaging it's gonna pop out from the search results. Right? So invest in a really good design design and number two it's also going to you know increase the perceived value. Okay, uh, sorry, I see it's on. Oh no, sorry. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So number two, it's going to increase the perceived values when people receive that product. You know, if it's a high quality packaging, it's going to, you know, uh, you know, your ch chances of getting really good reviews, you know, high quality reviews are going to go up. And also uh, overall images, your videos, the, your creatives are going to come out much nicer if you have a really good packaging. The other thing that you can do that I uh, that I uh, when you're designing the packaging, try to look at, you know, Amazon's you know uh packaging dimensions you know if you if if you, 
if you could be creative, you can save a lot on your, uh, you know, FBA fees as well. For example, uh, for uh, for a standard size unit, you know, if you're like 13 inches, 8 inches, and 7 inches, you know, your FBA fees is normal. But if you exceed by one inch, you know, your FBA fees would be like you know five to seven dollars more. So you know, so it's it's really important to work with you know someone who understands Amazon packaging, Amazon, uh, you know, uh, CTR, and also you know some logistics. So yeah, it's really important. Great, thanks. Perfect. So let's say if your product does not come in the product packaging, right? So can your product, you know, can you use the label it strategy? So this is a perfect example. So uh, this is a brand, you know, Gorilla, Gorilla Grip. If you search for them on Amazon, they are using this same strategy on most of their listings. So I'm pretty sure, you know, these cutting boards do not come like this. It's logistically not possible. So what they have done, they have extended their label or label might not even be on the product, but people don't really care as long as they're getting the exact thing what, what's showing on the packaging, right? So they are showing two different colors. They have extended and mentioned extra large cutting boards. And no wonder this is the best seller. You can see it on the screen. So Gorilla Grip is a great example of, and they have been doing this for over four years now. I have been tracking their, you know, every single main image and they are the masters of the same strategy. And Dude Wipes, you know, one of the top emerging brands, they were not doing this, but I have noticed that they're also using the exact same strategy. What they're doing, they're selling two different types of, you know, fragrance types and they're making it a bundle. So instead of, you know, it's, really difficult to showcase you know showcase just in the main image or the product title by using the label it strategy it's so much easier to tell people what exactly you're selling and it looks like you know amazon does not you know um can never catch it it looks like it's part of your pack product packaging right so even you know uh, Tracio, you know you guys have worked on you know on, on the packaging with Tracio. they were not using this strategy but now they're using it exact same strategy so it's being proven that this thing works even some of the top brands like jude wipes you know gorilla grip Tracio, you know they are using the exact same strategy okay so it's really important so moving on the second strategy that you can use let's say if your product um if you're using a model you know that really helps you know some people are like oh is it against terms of service no you know if you're showing product in action showing the product in use it's not against terms of service same thing you know push up machine is the keyword and we got click share 10 point you know 10 percent and after adding the model it went to almost 20 percent same keyword just by adding the model now people can actually see how does that product look like how big is the product as compared to you know uh, you know uh, humans it really really helps and this is one of you know a simple you can even use that for simpler products and moving on, let's say if your product does come in variations, lots of uh, Amazon sellers, they have variations. So what used to work in the past was the image on the left. You could you could show uh, some graphics, okay, which is kind of against Amazon terms of service and it does not work very well anymore. What you see on the right, this is a perfect example. If you have variations, use this strategy. Okay, because your only one listing is only one variation is going to rank. So having, you know, showing your product in the back end as variations can help you cross sell. And this is what it's going to look like on, uh, you know, uh, on the Amazon listing. So let's say if pink one is ranking first, you're already doing upselling or cross selling in the main image itself. You're telling people, hey, I have other colors available if you want, right? It can drive, you know, attention there so this is one of my favorite strategies so this is what i call a kaizen strategy so what do i mean by this your main image no matter what kind of main image you have it can always be improved okay so think of that okay whatever the main image you have got or your competitors have got you need to ask yourself one question can this be improved and the answer is always yes Okay, so if you look at this image, it's Amazon compliant, white background, high quality shot. You know, it's 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 good. It's good. Can this be improved? Yes. Look at this image now. It's 3D rendered, much more better, right? Much more sharper. Can this be improved now? The answer is yes. Now you can add a wallpaper, which makes you stand out. 
Okay, but two months down the road, everybody's going to have the exact same strategy. So then you need to use Kaizen strategy that how can you stay ahead of the competition? Ask yourself, can this be improved? The answer is yes. You can add something to it. Now, four months, five months down the road, everybody would be doing the exact same thing. But how can you be the top seller always? Is by improving it. Can this be improved? Yes. Now look at that. Right? It's the same image asking yourself one simple question can this be improved? Works every single time. Can this be improved 100%? You know, if we work together, you know, uh, and come up with different ideas, do the split testing on Pickful and see what works well, this can also be improved. Okay, so this is one of the example that I wanted to share that no matter how good your main image is, it can always be improved. Okay. And moving on. Okay. So this is, uh, this is a split test results. And what I learned from this uh, pick four poll was, so we did our internal, you know, uh, competition. We asked our three design teams, hey, this is a product. I want you guys to create three good main images that we can go to PicFu and do a split testing. So team A, you know, they created really good. I mean, it's a minimal, you know, I love that design. Even image B, we were also showing the product packaging, right? That worked really well. Option number C, that was like, you know, our client did not like it. We did not like it either, you know, but the audience they chose option c it's surprising they were, we were like why why did that happen because people who are actually going to buy that product who are going to use their credit card and purchase that product they think of your main image differently they are looking at the close-up chart they actually want to see how good you know how is the cushion of that product because they are seeing it they are viewing it differently Right. So because we have seen the product, you as a seller have seen the product, but the people who are buying, they have not. So their perception is different. So showing close up shots also works well, really, really well. OK, so uh, there is a quick question on that one about cutting the product image, I guess, because that one, the close up is is kind of cropping it. But I guess it's probably yeah. fine because you're showing it fully in the background. Is that right? Yes, so that that is right. So that's why you know I always recommend Amazon it can be a little bit you know, you know uh, naughty sometimes. You know they can sometimes you know even good images, even if you have perfect images, you know, they can they can be naughty and they're like oh it's not Amazon compliant. So what I always recommend is to have a safer image in the back end, mm -hmm. or the other way around is use this use Amazon's you know a manager experiment uh to to add that image and that way they would approve mm -hmm. that okay so that that is one of the options but i have not seen uh you know the, any suppressions just because of image cutting out that's that's totally fine right. okay. or unless like it's really badly photoshopped you know then amazon system may catch it but if it's nicely done it shouldn't be a problem okay, okay moving on showing more angles there's lots of products which because end of the day it's 2d right so you see something on the screen you can't really show uh, what's on the back of the product so showing multiple angles always helpful imagine looking at these pictures imagine just showing one picture instead of two showing one angle instead of two would that do justice to the main image no right so it's always a good idea uh, to show multiple angles if it makes sense and uh, let me give you an example. Okay, I was in Lisbon. I was, you know, speaking at one of the conference, and uh, you know, there was a seller. You know, he's got like really nice, you know, female dress that he was selling, right? He was showing just the front side of the product. Product. He's like, come on, it's a clothing. How can I make it stand out? You know, there's nothing much you can do in the. That there's nothing much you can do it in the clothing category then i came up with you know an idea. You know, we sat together for like 10, 15 minutes. I was like, okay, you know what? let's show front and back of your dress you know because your your back of the dress is also like there's some solid design it's deep so maybe people or the you know the female audience who's going to buy that product they would be interested in seeing the back of the product so what he did he designed that the next morning you know he had his designer and he put it on amazon and one week later he called me he's like kamal my ctr went down 
I'm like, oh, that's too bad. Let's just go back to your old image. He's like, no, I don't want to go back to my old image. Like, why? He's like, but my sales went up. I'm like, ah, like, how did that happen? He's like, conversion went up because now the traffic which is coming to my listing is filtered. Right? So before people were coming to the listing and they were like, without seeing the back, you know, of the back of the dress, uh, you know, their conversion rate was lower. So now only filtered traffic is coming in and which is helping them a lot with the conversion means better organic ranking as well. So, so I think we have a question that yeah. Amazon rejected. Yeah. So I guess they, maybe they were doing this uh, tactic where they were showing different angles, but then it got rejected because it seemed like the product was being shown twice. If it's, um, you know, was that rejected during the uploading process or was that mm. rejected you know, uh, like after was your listing suppressed? If it's rejected on the uploading process, you know, try to make some adjustments and re-upload that. If not, you upload it through manager experiments. Mm. So that, that way, you know, it will always get uploaded and make your settings on auto publish and it's going to go through. Yes. So uh, this is what I would have done. I would have maybe made some changes. Uh, when I removed it, it went through. So yeah, so, so this is what I would do before removing. I would maybe make slightly changes and see if Amazon would, you know, uh, pass me. If not, then I would go, to, I would do it through manager experiments. Got it. Great. Thanks. Perfect. And let's say if your product is a boring product, you know, just like this one, there's no color, it's transparent. How do you make your main image stand out? This is the exact strategy that you can use to make your main image stand out. You know, it's fun, it's not fun to work with boring products, but add some colors to it, okay? Let's say if other people are adding colors, you know, add more colors or, or make it different, right? If other people are adding like lots of colors, add less colors. There's always, you need to break a pattern. Okay, whatever is the pattern in the search results, that's what you need to break. Okay, so adding a colors is also a great way to break the pattern. Okay, show the product packaging. You know, if you if your product comes in a nice product packaging, definitely show that. Do not show the brown box if it comes into that. What you can do, I have seen a lot. Let's say if your product comes in the brown box. Hey, Kamal, I have my product comes in the brown box. What can I do now? You know. I don't want to go back and you know my I have like thousand units at the warehouse. What do I do now? Use the label it strategy on the brown box, which I shared on the first one. Okay, so that's also a great way to make your main image stand out and still show the packaging, and you know make your main image stand out. So that is one of the things that you can do, and use three D renders. I don't know how many of you have used three D rendering before, but Whenever we take on a project, the first thing that we look at is can this product be 3D rendered or can this image be 3D rendered? So that is the first thing that I personally take a look at. So we can, you know, we can talk about 3D rendering. It's like a whole another topic. So it's basically you're creating your image in a virtual environment and you have like 360 access to that. And the good things about 3D rendering, there's like no reflections. There's like no... Um, you know, it's so crystal clear. Imagine, you know, taking a picture of a glass or a very reflective product. Sometimes, you know, you see bad images where you can see uh, the cameraman or you can see the flash, you know, into the product itself. And that looks unprofessional. Uh, there are some good photographers who can get away with that. But the challenge is then you're limited with angles. You can't really do, you can't really be creative because, 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 you know, it's a reflective product. It's a hard service product. It's going to catch something, right? So use this strategy. It gives the depth and make your main image stand out. Let's say if your product comes in like different items, like different bundles, show show them like this, a nicely laid out format. Okay. So this is a good example and a bad example. So if you look at image on the left. It's a bad example, but photographer was amazing. It's nicely laid out, really good picture, right? So photographer has done whatever he could, right? It's a nice picture, but that's something that does not work on Amazon anymore. What works on Amazon is the image on right. So you have to take 
each and every image at the same angle and then edit them and show it show it nicely yeah right so it's much more than just a good photography yeah i just want to chime in because we we see this all the time where like you said the photographer or the designer may come up with like this beautifully creative like fanning it out or something like that it looks very nice but if you're trying to show different patterns, maybe like it's coming with a lot of different patterns and then you can't see it and actually the the layout that just kind of tiles it out is just so much more effective and so it's yeah you know you got to work with, you got to use what's effective for sure 100 so yeah so this is one of the examples if your if your product does come in different items so use this and oh, last but not the least you know this is the strategy of showing your product in action so imagine showing this product you know by itself some people wouldn't really find it difficult to understand what exactly that product is the image on the left is you know is it iphone or cam cell phone tripod so by showing the cell phone you know it's it makes it so much easier to understand the other one is a light it's a, it's a monitor light so showing product in action can also be a great way of your of your main image you know standing out from the crowd and this is one of the example from big football like you're showing like you know deodorant wipes by showing the product in action in on the left it won by huge margin so we have a question that how do you split test and how long will you usually before getting the clear answer so there's two ways to um there's two ways that i think of it number one is how i like to do the split testing first i split test the concept so the image that you see on the screen is a concept it's not the same product mm -hmm. it's like one is the competitor both of them are the competitors okay so but we are just testing you know which is better so first split test the concept and then you know you this is what i like to do so you search for your keyword on amazon and see what is the best seller main image and what is the most commonly used image that can you know that i have to break the pattern mm. okay i would create something you know which comes from the concept testing which is the exact same thing that you see on screen i would find a winner of that number two i would find the best you know best sellers main image number three i would look at the most commonly uh, used main image and break that pattern and finally i would do the split testing for those three images on pitfu and find the winner so now i have three proven concepts and i find the winner of that and sometimes what happens you may have a great pitfu winner and if you see that it's not performing it could be a great image but for some reason it's not breaking the mm -hmm. pattern you have to make sure that even though you have the winner it should be breaking the pattern if it's not breaking the pattern go back to the split testing once again yeah but create something else and you know try to uh, so that's how uh, i do it and it could that's how i do the split testing and how long does that take it takes about a month or two split tests for me but sometimes in the some uh, some scenarios i have done it for three months or four months until I get my optimal click through rate. Because as I mentioned, this is your 20%, which is going to bring you the 80% of the results. Do not settle. Even if you have run split, you know, uh, if you have run split testing, go back and do that once again. So keep doing that until you get the best click through rate. Yeah. And then just to clarify, the the split test that you run on PigFu will take 30 minutes to an hour to to do something like what what he's showing on the screen. But like this process, and then if you were to test it live on manager experiments would take longer I, yes yeah that's a good point so manager experiments can take like you know minimum four weeks and can if you choose like 12 weeks that's like a really really long time so if you're so that's why it's really important to use big food before you use manager experiments because if you have a bad image it's going to give you bad results for at least four yeah. weeks right so so that's one of the things that you need to consider right. good question Perfect. So this is all I have on the main images. Um, yes, it's kind of the same, Majas. Split testing and AB. There, there's different terms, but it's it's the same thing, almost. All right. So next thing I you know I wanted to share with you. So this is what 
you can do to make your click through rate go up but how do you make your sales go up like you know just because you have traffic does not mean you have sales so first goal is to get the traffic which will come from the main image second part is have some really really good creatives so that your conversion goes up so next thing but again everyone talks about you need to have good infographics you need to have good lifestyle images but what makes a good infographics what makes a good lifestyle image how do you create a good lifestyle image that is the important question so i'm i have some strategies that i use at amz one step to make really good infographics and really good lifestyle images so i'm going to share one concept is called visual reference so visual reference means showing your product in reference to something that conveys product feature or benefit across okay so if you look at this screen there's two there's a theorem and there's a proof if you try to read the theorem it wouldn't make sense to you to most of the people right but if i show them as a proof it's so much easier like even a kid can understand that that is the exactly that's exactly what we need to do with our images do not most of the sellers they have images which looks like the theorem on top but very few sellers they have image which looks like a proof right so proof is the visual reference so when you're creating the images make sure you are using the visual reference for example you're selling extra large food delivery bag so your main feature is it's extra large okay so you have two different options option number one is you can show the image dimensions like it's 15 inches high or it is 23 inches wide right it's again it's a theorem people don't really understand numbers really well instead show how many extra large pizzas it can carry because your target audience is the delivery driver he would immediately understand wow i can carry seven extra large pizzas perfect i can make more money i can carry extra food i don't have to carry two different bags it's much more powerful than just showing the dimensions nobody knows like what's the dimensions of extra large pizza bag right but it's a standard right and then you can be like oh it can carry two two liters of pop so so these are the two options option two is the visual reference option one what normally people are doing right so how is that helpful for your listing studies have shown that 65 percent of the information is retained if it includes relevant image compared to 10 percent without look at this image it's a leak proof poop bag they have given a proof you know they pour some water look at the image it's leak proof they don't need to tell they don't need to write right so this is also a great example visual references can increase product understanding from 70 percent to 95 percent if you look at this image it is a floor cleaner and it can clean carpets and hardwood floors look at the image how they have captured it it's slowly sliding from hardwood floor to the carpet image speaks for itself that it cleans both right so so infographics is too small but the image is doing the magic okay so visual references can also help you in solution based selling okay step one you know if you look at facebook ads you know they sometimes you know they try to label you with a problem and then they educate and then they try to sell you like you know a lot of people you know, are you struggling to make money or you know then you sell it sell their courses so same way it educates your buyers that the problem exists and then your product solves that problem and then people add to cart and nearly 60 percent of you know people uh, more buyers complete their orders when the problem is identified your product solves a problem you need to show that in the image so this is a good visual reference so this is an air purifier and there's a someone sleeping next to it that means it's low low noise you can sleep next to it if you imagine you would buy from competitors you may have like trouble sleeping because it's so loud as a buyer you know you are not aware that you know it you may not be aware of the problem that exists in the industry but you're educating people right and even the best sellers they are using the exact same strategy look at this you know untan b10 is the product like one image is tan the other image is not uh, one leg is tan the other leg is not great visual reference and no wonder they're the best sellers big brands are using it look at this one bounty you know 
they are comparing with somebody and this is visually they're showing that it's more absorbent right anchor one of my favorite brands on amazon like they are also the masters of this strategy and look at this image you know 58 percent smaller imagine just imagine showing uh, not showing that it's 58 percent smaller and telling only through the infographics it's much more easier to visually understand that it's oh it's 58 percent smaller nice right you can visually see that and let's take a look at some more examples okay example number one your feature is that it's a lightweight you're selling a vacuum cleaner and it's lightweight imagine saying that it's oh it's like four kilograms but now instead we're showing a female model like who's a little bit you know on the skinnier side and she's carrying it with one hand now she can go upstairs downstairs you know it's much more powerful way to tell it's lightweight right example number two so this is a bottle it's showing no drip nipple design what they have done they have tilted the bottle and taken a picture and it's not leaking great visual reference you don't you know so these are the images which are powerful images are speaking for themselves okay example number three this is the you know power adapter and it can charge your iphone your you know apple watch you know your ipad your airports you know all the compatibility you know they're showing it in on the side so this is also one of the great ways to show that so this is also one of my favorite examples let's say you're selling a carry-on bag instead of showing the product dimensions you are comparing it with the model height hey if you're 511 this is how it's going to look to you if you're 54 this is how it's going to look to look to you so now you know mostly men you know they're around their average height is 511 females you know their average height is about five you know five four five five so they can compare it with themselves right so great visual reference right there so this is also a great image you know they are showing that how much weight each shelf can carry right 180 pounds so it's much more easier and they are also comparing it with the more you know, models height hey if on average it's going to be this tall imagine you know calculating 70 inches you know like how tall that's going to be now they have compared it with somebody so this is a great visual you know reference strategies that you can you guys can use so it will help your infographics go to next level okay so if you want to stand out from the crowd make a good main image that will increase your traffic if you want to increase the conversion use the visual reference that will make your infographics go to the next level but how do you make your lifestyle images go to the next level that is the next part we're going to talk about i have three different strategies that i use every single time to make lifestyle images go to the next level right so it's always a challenge it's always a challenge that okay you know you should have a lifestyle image on your amazon page but main question is how so i have three different strategies okay one is extreme emotions number two is extreme conditions and number three is extreme use i think we have a question uh, what is yeah what is your target ctr and conversion rate uh okay so uh, organically you know i'm not sure if amazon gives that data on average you know on advertising you're looking at about one to 1.5 percent is your ctr and if you're doing your advertising right if you're driving traffic to like irrelevant uh, people you know it, it will be really low so if you're if you have low impressions that means you know your either main image is not good or your targeting is not good right so on average we see one to 1.5 percent uh but we have with, with some successful uh campaigns we have seen it to up to three percent as well and conversion rate it really depends uh in some categories seven to eight percent is considered really really good in some categories 15 percent is the average it really depends you know uh it, it it really depends on how competitive that the product is and if on on a, on a less competitive categories you're looking at about 12 to 15 percent on average i have seen uh 20 percent as well 
in, 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 for, in consumable products. Mm -hmm. For example, you're selling toilet papers, you know, people would buy stock for like six months or like one year. So for those ones, you know, the uh, conversion rate, like unit session percentage is really, really high, but it really depends. If you're at anywhere in double digits, you're fine. Great. So, okay, so these are the three strategies I have for creating good lifestyle images, okay? First is extreme emotions. So let's say you're selling an anti-slip bathroom mat. So the benefit is that it protects you from slipping. Okay. Now think of the most extreme emotion that could be part of this lifestyle image. So now imagine the same picture of a pregnant lady carrying a baby inside her tummy and she's just stepping onto this anti-slip bathroom mat. Image is so powerful. If a pregnant lady is using that product, right, that means it has to be safe. Even if you have no reviews, the image is so powerful. How do you do it? Extreme emotions. Add extreme emotions to your lifestyle image. Like pregnant lady and anti-slip bathroom mat has no connection. Just by using the extreme, extreme emotion, you can connect the dots. Okay, now moving on. Let's take a look at the example. You can show the, you can show a baby, you know, in the bathroom on that product. That's also very extremely emotional. Oh, wow, it's safe for my baby, right? So that is one strategy that, that you can use. The second strategy that you can use is extreme conditions. Let's say you're selling a vacuum cleaner. The benefit is that it cleans the carpet, right? But now think of the extreme condition. What could be the extreme condition? Maybe a house full house that has got like multiple dogs and it has like dog hair on the carpet and your bathroom, you know, then your vacuum cleaner is cleaning that carpet, you know, extreme condition. Like now everybody else who's going to buy that vacuum. Wow. If, if it, if this can clean that house, it should easily, you know, clean like my mess, right? So it's the extreme condition. The next part is, you know, this is another example. You're selling an outdoor, you know, weatherproof camera. Show the product, you know, in the rain. Extreme condition, okay? Last strategy is the extreme use. Let's say you're selling a GPS tracker. Benefit is that it tracks your movement. Now think of the most extreme use. The most extreme use could be maybe you are driving in the Rocky Mountains, you know, somewhere and it's still able to track where there is no connectivity. Right, same use, but you're taking it to extreme use and showing that in the lifestyle image. It's so much powerful, okay? So these are the three strategies that I use. So this is also a extreme use. This is also an extreme use example that you're selling like wet wipes and See how perfectly it's cleaning that. Like, so this is, these are the three strategies that I use for main images, for infographics, and for lifestyle images. You can use the same strategies for in your A plus content and in the video. But so, yeah, that's all from my side. If there's any questions, I'll be very happy to take those questions. Yeah. So, if there's any questions, type them into the chat and we can answer them. Um... Maybe meanwhile, Kamal, why don't you tell us a little bit about what AMZ One Set does and kind of the types of things you do for clients? So what we do is we help Amazon brands with their creatives, like in product photography, videos, A plus content, three um, D rendering. Basically, you know, we build out listings, whatever is required. We do that. Great. Let's see uh, anything coming through. We did have one question that was submitted from earlier. Um, yeah, what do you think about AI tools and how they can help us create images? Okay, so um, AI is going to get bigger and bigger in the coming times. So I think a lot of the things that will be replaced, like, you know, for example, variation images, you know, I think color changes that will be replaced by AI really, really quickly. Mm. And uh, 
white background removals. You know, we are testing a lot. It's not just there yet. I have like three, you know, engineers working on just the AI and Amazon images, but we haven't figured out the perfect way. The some of the tools that you can use is pebbly.com or flare.ai to make, you know, uh, to Photoshop your product onto the stock images. And you can also create stock images through uh, stock image dot, you know, dot io so there are some really really cool software like Dali. you know dali is really good for background removal uh, mid journey is really really good for like lifestyle images um leonardo is, is is a really good one so lots of amazon software or not amazon like the ai software they are in the market but it's not there yet where you can make your images from ai like right now but it can assist mm -hmm. you at this moment but in future i think it will be done with ai so i i sometimes i think my business is in danger um yeah so it's it's, it's a fact so ai will take over i i do feel like but you know if your if your product is like you know is a brand new product like it's an innovation then you know what you need to do is you need to get the 3d rendering done and then put it into a software then it will automatically create those images and guess what we're working on something similar you know listing optimization.ai so this is one of my tools that i'm making in the back end cool. if you want to join that wait list you know go to listing optimization.ai sign up and we will message you whenever that software is you know launched so what we're trying to do with that software is you will be able to get your copywriting plus all translations plus you'll be able to get a video you'll be able to get images you'll be able to get a brand story you know brand guide customer avatar basically just in everything that we saw at the accelerate conference you know that tool will be able to give you with one click right so everything related to the creatives you know you can uh do that so it's listing let me type that for you yeah so, let me see how do i share this uh i don't know if you guys can see that but here i'll, I'll share it live like that i think you can see it um cool yeah i mean i i, I guess one comment uh, from my side I, I think i think people should be careful about relying overly being overly reliant on the ai to Oh, I generated some images and that's going to be great. I think what you've been outlining is is having the right intent. And there's there's a lot of thought behind the types of images that you want to create for different purposes. And so um thinking that AI can do all that, I think is is gonna mislead you. And so, you know, these tools are only as good as the humans using them, right? And so um you do need to think about how you're gonna break that pattern, you know, how how it's uh showing the product in use and all this kind of stuff and and even if ai is generating it you just still need to get some kind of feedback you need to make sure it's working you need to test it against humans or you need to do an amazon manager experiments test so you know don't don't just mail it in and just let ai generate a bunch of stuff and put it on your listing thinking that that's going to be good enough 100 percent. yeah i think it's uh ai is you know is as you mentioned you know it's only as good as your input yep. if your inputs are off you know your output is going to be yep. off it's a great assistant at this point you know you can generate like lots of ideas like how i am using at this ai is before we had people do all the research but now we have ai doing all the research okay for example you can be like okay create image concepts create 10 different image concepts based on you know this product features and benefits and it would give you all those image concepts and you can pick and choose see which one would make sense for you to showcase mm -hmm. in that so so yeah ai is a great assistant it's only good you know as good as your input is but future is moving towards ai it will you know i really like the quote from you know from uh, the conference uh, justin yeah. ai will not replace right. you it's the people leveraging ai yep. will so, so we gotta be those people who are leveraging AI. AI is not here to replace us. It's the people yeah. who are using it. They will. So. And it's and it's still humans buying your products for, for now. So the humans need to <laughs> whatever you do, it needs to resonate with humans. So always keep that in mind as well. Um, all right, let's get to another question. Do you think videos are becoming more important nowadays than images? 
Uh, videos, uh, that's that's a good one. I Based on the stats, the videos, only 10 to 15% of the people, they watch mm -hmm. your video. So it's nowhere near to the images yet. So, you know, people can be sold. Some people are sold just by looking at the price. For example, if I'm looking for a pen or a pencil, I'm going to look for okay, for how many pencils, how many, what's, what is the price? Does this look right from the main image? I'm mm -hmm. sold. Some people are sold on the title. Some people are sold after looking at the second image, fourth image, fifth image, and video comes the last. So only based on the stats, only 15% are watching your listing video. But where it's getting really important is if you can use UGC and put it on your social media content like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and that can take off, which has a huge mm -hmm. impact on your on your sales, right? So, or if you have a really, really good video ad uh, that can get you clicks, that's where you can leverage videos. But, uh, but yeah, again, based on the stats, images are still really powerful. Yeah, especially for getting that first click. Yeah. Uh, let me see. That's another question. How about this one? What should be the image angle right towards the left or left towards right? I, I suspect there's not a answer. One answer. That break the, all. I think break the pattern. You know, that that's my answer. Like if people are left to right, try right to left. <laughs> right. So, so yeah, break the pattern there. Okay. And it also depends like what kind of product mm. is and where your product looks the best. Mm -hmm. you know, if your product does not look good in certain angles, try not try to avoid those mm -hmm. angles. All right, this one, I'm not sure if I understand it. Can you show the extra design labels on main image? I believe it's one of the first designs. Okay, can you show extra designs? Um, you can experiment with, I, I, I think you're talking about the label it strategy. Yeah. You can experiment that. Uh, as long as it's not deceiving, number one, like when people receive the product, you know, do not, if they're getting the impression that, oh, they got a totally different product, that means your label wasn't good, right? Or if it's breaking the rule of Amazon's terms of service, that's also, uh, you know, that's also the boundary line. And within these boundary lines, you can do whatever you want. Can I take images of my listing with my own phone and send them to a graphic designer or should I pay a photographer? That's a really that's a really good question. It depends on what your budget is and what your goal is. If you're tight on budget, take some really good pictures from your cell phone, give it to the graphic designer, and once you're seeing some ROI, then eventually you're gonna have to invest in a professional photographer, professional graphic design, and professional marketing. Uh, company, you know, so that your flow from main image to all the way to the A plus content is perfect. I'm not sure like where exactly you're in, in your business stage. So my answer is you can do both. You can do both. It depends on your goal and your budget. Great. I guess that could segue to someone who's asking about your service costs. I don't know if you have a range that you publicize. Yes, yeah, so it depends like how many services you need. If it's just the images or the videos <clears> or <throat> everything together. It's super customized, so it's for seven images. Starting price is four ninety five, includes lifestyle images, infographics, and main images. Great. Um, and then connecting with you, I know you got the website up here, but is there another way? Yeah, that's, the connecting uh, that is our future AI tool. It's still you know uh, on the wait list, but you can go to amzonestep.com or email us at info at amzonestep.com. We can, you know, help you out. Cool. Um, I th think I caught most of them. Yeah. Uh, any any final thoughts, Kamal? No, I think that's pretty much it. You know, uh, last you know comments would be focus on your main image as much as you can because whether you're a brand new seller or you're an existing big seller, even if you're a big seller. All I would do is just go split test and find those, you know, uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 increase in your click through rate because think of that when it builds up for like 12 months, the ROI is huge. Mm -hmm. So never let your, you know, let, never compromise with your traffic because there's new competition coming every single day. 
you know, there's your competitors are trying to copy the best images. So everyone is trying to compete with you. So if you relax or if you didn't, if you don't take your main image seriously after two to three months, you're going to lose. So you, most of the people, they realize when their traffic or sales go down. So try not to realize that, you know, when your sales goes down, but try to stay ahead of the game and keep doing this speed testing, even though if you're not going to upload it on the, on the Amazon, yeah. but just stay ahead that your main image is still the best main image. Yeah. yeah. I love that idea of, you know, breaking the pattern, keeping up on top of what everyone else is doing. Um, I think probably not enough people revisit their main image often enough. Um, yeah. So thanks for, thanks for coming on to our webinar, Kamal. Um, if you ever need any, if, any of you watching ever need any help, definitely reach out to AMZ One Step. Uh, they're great PickFu partners. Um, they're very data-driven in their approach to uh, image optimization. So we love uh, love seeing their work. So um, cool. Thank you. The recording will be sent out if you want to watch it again. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to having you all on future webinars. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.